What's up, people? After eight months of the waiting and played 100 hours for Throne and Liberty Open Beta, let me share you guys my experience about the game and about the Open Beta itself. If you're my viewer, you already know that I play Throne and Liberty since it's released in December 7 on the Korean region. I was watching every single changes in the game, every single modification of the game. I was in a game in the April for the closed beta and I can definitely say this open beta was way, way much better than the closed beta back in the days. Let's forget the closed beta situation and let's talk about this open beta. But before that, I want you guys ask you to subscribe my channel. Right now, after the open beta, I still play this game on the Korean region. I'm making a lot of guidelines about Throne and Liberty and if you even so that for the open beta my channel was on the hot special mode and I was uploading a lot of special guidelines which would be helpful for the open beta. You have to imagine what my channel will do once we get this game on the global market. So hit the subscribe button and if you will like the video don't forget to hit the like button too. Let's get back on the topic and let's talk about the open beta test for 5-6 days on the Amazon gaming servers. First I want to talk about the positivity which I feel and which I saw in the game and I'm sure a lot of you who was tasted the game on the open beta would face the same situation. The game itself was feeling amazing, the game itself was feeling so smooth. Also the update and the patch which we had was way easier than the closed beta and the players was enjoying way much than they was enjoying for the closed beta since on the closed beta there was leveling up packs and open open beta there was no any type of the supportive packs people was finished them 50 level without any additional help since there was no some level cap destruction between the levels and game was smooth with the mechanically with the graphically with the pink side it was amazing and people was feeling it people was enjoying it and it was amazing to see as a throne and liberty experienced player when the people are enjoy the game that much the game started with the 61,000 players at the second day there was the 40,000 players at the third day there was 35,000 players in the fourth day there were 34,000 players i know some of you may think that these numbers are the low but you guys have to understand this is the summer, this is the game which already released on the market, this is the game which you can find on the Twitch and watch it every day and there was not much expectation, there was not much interest for the people to play the 5 days open beta, spend them times for nothing and the progression is gonna remove. So 61,000 players for the state of the game what is right now and what the situation the game have and the summer is also the big deal was amazing for and was amazing for the overall situation for the second day 40,000 players was also impressive since you know a lot of people was just entering the game to check some stuff for the one day a lot of people just check them pieces and a lot of people also don't want to waste five days for nothing and you have to understand there is not many people who want to spend five days for nothing but 40,000 second day player base was really good and it was stable the third day was 35 and fourth day was 32 it means that game catch the half of the population for the open beta stable guys this does not mean that once we get this game on the global market, the population will get half and it's gonna stays like that. No, for the open beta statistic, that is amazing. Most of the time, all games open beta statistics going down, but this game tried and this game catch the 40,000 to 35,000 player base on its open beta period. If you was first time joiner in Throne and Liberty, I know there was some difficulties in the menu section, there was some difficulties to understand some of the things but I heard from a lot of players after playing five hours the people love the game first couple of hours they couldn't understand what's going on in the game but after the five hours of the gameplay people love it people love the gameplay because of the graphic people love the gameplay because of the idea and the because of the mechanic I know a lot of you does not like the combat system in Throne and Liberty but guys you have to understand this is the top target game and a lot of you forget what is the top target game a lot of you play action combat MMORPGs in the previous years since they was popular on the market and you guys are asking something which is not the right to ask for the top target game and me as the all the time top target MMORPG player I can say 
this combat improved so much since December 7 to today and even after the new skill tree and new skill tree packs this combat gets way 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 much better. Since we talked about the new patch that was the big failure for the Amazon game. At the same day when the open beta was shutting down the Korean region released a new patch with the new skill trees with the new skill power and new content inside the game and we didn't get it. We played the old version of the game on the open beta which we will never see again and for the September 17 we will get the fresh new up to dated patch of the game and it will be way different than you played this game on the open beta. If you want to test this game on the new skills you have only two choices, first to watch my channel or second you can join the hyperboost server on the Korean region which is open for half of the world not only for the Korean players anymore. In game situation was also amazing there was a lot of people running around you there was a lot of people who was doing them casual thing and there was a lot of people who was enjoying guild versus guild content we had a lot of guild battles in the game which was feeling really good overall this open beta is the open beta for throne at liberty finished really nice and finished with amazing first impression for a lot of, of my viewers who never played Throne and Liberty before and they was watching only my channel and they had the information about the game only from my channel. This was really nice experience for these players and I'm sure that would be more experience for the global opening since we get the new game and new patch, new mechanic, new additional content and new skill trees for Throne and Liberty. Now let's talk for the dark side of the Amazon games. Yes guys, when I say the Amazon games, I actually mean the Amazon game. I don't have a problem with the game and I don't have a problem as the OBT version of the Throne and Liberty, but what the Amazon game did, that was big failure. There were was going shutting down every four, five, six hours, any of the server from like a 20 regional servers were shutting down. I even muted the Discord for official Throne and Liberty posts since it was popping up every four hours. There was news that some server was going down, some server need my entrance. And this everything I'm sure would happen so badly for the first impression players because they couldn't even play the game. Also the second biggest failure than the server going shut down was the old game. I don't know if it was the Amazon game fault, I don't know if it was the NCSoft fault, but someone really fucked up with this and a lot of people who had the bad expression from the game and they left from the game, some of those people we could save them to bring the newest update from the game with the new content, new skill trees, new mechanics and everything new. I'm sure a lot of people from the people who had the bad first impression we could save them and there could be less people who didn't like the game. So, they had to wait. We was waiting this game to release 8 months and we could even wait 2 weeks more for the open beta so they had definitely to delay the open beta test for Throne and Liberty. This was my first impression for Throne and Liberty as an experienced Korean player for Throne and Liberty and if you are enjoyed with this game you can check my channel, you can find a lot of guidelines. Since the game gets the new modification and the new update you guys have to learn the game again and I will feed my channel with the newest updates and newest changes about how to get gear, how to get enchant and how you can progress in Throne and Liberty as fast as possible. If it does not mean such kind of the videos, please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button too. As always guys, see you in the next video.